Hi everyone, it's Lynn from Halen Vintage. We're gonna go into this church rummage sale on a Tuesday at noon. Who thought? But I'll take you in there with these glasses. Let's see what we can find to flip for a profit. On here real quick and just go over some of the things that I was seeing here. Um, there was some glassware, but there was really nothing that I was interested in. Um, they did have really good prices on their items. It was like 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars. So that was always really good. Um, teapots, they had like four dollars on them. That big orange thing was only five bucks. So then I went to the toys. Toys were a dollar a stuffed animal. If they were under six inches, they were 50 cents. So I was kind of going through some of the toys real quick. Just kind of looking around. Um, seeing if there was anything that looked interesting or was vintage. I did end up grabbing that guy there because he still had his tags on him. And the other one, so they still both have their tags. I've sold that before, so but I had the whole set, so I grabbed that Tupperware dog. Um, I was just kind of like looking as there was anything vintage that I kind of wanted to take with me. Um, looking at prices, I think they have $4 on that. This was $2. Those are Little Tykes family, so those were vintage. They did look older to me. I had no idea at that time what they were. So I threw those in my bag, thinking 2 bucks. I'm sure I could make some money on those. A couple little Barbies. I was looking to see if any of those were vintage. I um, didn't see anything there. My hair is in the way again, but... Um, I didn't really see anything that was really interesting. If you've seen something that I missed, please point that out or make something in the comments. I thought that was just a Doug and Melissa teapot, so I put that back. I was looking on the bottom, didn't see anything. Hello, so I just wanted to go over everything that I did grab at that church rummage sale that was today at noon on a Tuesday. So um, this is a Rodney Kent little like relish tray. It's pewter. They don't really have a really good sell through rate, but sometimes if you just uh, display them, you know, with charcuterie in them, you know, because charcuterie boards are really big right now so something to put your pickles and your olives in they do sometimes get a little bit more traffic if you do that that way so I did pick this guy up for a dollar I like stuff for charcuterie these were two left in candlesticks they still have their little stickers on the back they didn't have any chips or cracks they did have a dollar a piece on here but at Christmas time these usually sell pretty well so I grabbed those. <clears throat> I did grab, um, this is like our Japan or um, it's got Japan on the bottom. He still has his little sticker on there. So it is a little creamer. He does have, I don't know if somebody colored that or if that was from the manufacturer that he was like that. Um, but I will put, make sure that I display that, but he is a cute little creamer and he did have the little salt and pepper shakers to match. They do have their little bottoms. So I only paid a dollar for this whole set. That was super cute. <clears throat> this is the little Tykes family. So all four of them. I paid $2 for all these little guys here. Um, these are older little types family. They do go for about 30 bucks for all of them. I paid $2 for these guys. So happy about that. And then this is the Tupperware. This is those zoo animal Tupperware. They have a, like a whole set. They're missing like another elephant and a couple other items but this is the dog so I did sell the whole set before for like $28 so 
I'm sure he's worth like maybe eight bucks, but for a buck, why not? He's easy to ship. I grabbed this because this is Hallmark and any of the smaller stuffed animals, whatever dolls were only 50 cents. This is made in Taiwan, but it's Knickerbocker. So some of the sales on eBay were upwards of almost 15 to $20 on this little Raggedy Andy. So I grabbed him when I seen Knickerbocker made in Taiwan. <clears throat> These are the two little, what are they, mush mush or whatever they are. Um, I just grabbed these for my granddaughter. This one is um, Ferris. I think he's 2017 maybe for a buck. Somebody, I mean, he had his tag here still, but he doesn't have this tag. They cut, I mean, they cut it off neatly, but he's in good shape though otherwise for a dollar and then there's this one Tootsie she still has this tag but looking at her I don't know if somebody sewed her here or not but I was just going to give these to my granddaughter so those are always super fun to grab so then they had this other area that was um, newer treasures it said so I'm thinking it's like buyouts from Target or something so I didn't really like go over there but towards the end of you know like I'm like well I'm really not finding that much over here I went to that area and in that area it wasn't new treasures they had a 10 cup Pyrex um what is that number on there again I can't see it real quick um, I'll put the number in. Uh, I can't see it, but it's a 10 cup. Really nice. Still has the stem. I do collect these, um, Pyrex coffee, um, crafts. I'll insert a picture of what my collection is. So this, I do have this one already. So I'm probably going to sell this because I don't need two of them. So that was an exciting find over there to find that. And then they had this like new in box. This was newer though, but it's the reindeer. They had a buck on him. They had him displayed. He still has all of his candles. The candles haven't been burned. He's super nice silver um, for a dollar. Sure, I'll grab that for a buck. So I grabbed that. I'll put that away till Christmas time comes and throw him up for sale. So that was really all that I grabbed. And then I was like, they had like this free bin. You mean you might as well check out the free bin. So they had this whole stack of the older containers in the free bin. And I kind of keep these downstairs for people come over for dinner. They want to take leftovers with them anything that I can get free or if I clean out my Tupperware dishes, um, I just send them home with them so I don't have to worry about getting them back. And these even still had most of the lids here. So I thought that was a really good score for free. If anything, camper or I'll put them downstairs for people who want leftovers. And then I grabbed this stack of cards. <laughs> the reason that I grabbed this stack of cards was they had this little Snoopy and it was here's the score so it was just a little like you know game if you're pay playing Yahtzee or anything like that um super cute for free I grabbed that and the other reason why I grabbed the cards was I seen this one vintage card in there and it says I hope you're just like a kid at Christmas and then on the inside it has over toyed Merry Christmas I just thought that was the best vintage card I have seen in a long time so I grabbed that and then I just grabbed the stack of cards there was a bunch of you know they had Garfield and a bunch of other ones but you know 
saves you a little bit of money here and there. Why not, right? So those are all the items that I grabbed from that rummage sale. Um, that is all that I really have for this video. It was kind of impromptu. We did use the glasses again. I'm getting a little bit better at that and getting a little bit better at my videos. So with that, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great night.